So this is going to be a lecture where I'm going to introduce you to some basic Unix commands. Uh, specifically, the commands we're going to talk about here are related to users on a, a Unix machine and some file system commands like how to change directories, print working directories, uh, some environment variables, and other things. So this is primarily going to have to do with the, the who, what, where, what, when. This is related to users, of course. So <clears throat> first I'm going to start and talk about the structure of a Unix command. So basically, any Unix command, uh, the first thing you type in the terminal, uh, and the terminal itself will usually uh, have some type of arrow like that uh, to indicate where to type. But the first command you type <coughs> is what we call a command, and everything after that taken all together are called arguments, right? And the arguments are made up of some options, which are typically uh, a single letter, a single dash and a single letter, or a double dash and, and a longer word. So I'm just making this up, but possibly a word like, you know, S could be short for the word secure or something like that. Um, so your options will always be indicated by dashes, and then they're possibly will have arguments uh, after that. Sometimes the options themselves will take arguments, possibly followed with an equal sign and an argument. So this is the basic structure of a Unix command. So then some commands that indicate who um, are related to uh, host name, this prints the machine's host name, uname prints some other system information about the machine. In fact, uh, uname-m is, uh, I'm sorry, uname-n uname is exactly the same as host name. Uh, so we can actually go over to our Cloud9 terminal and see some of these things. I'll go ahead and clear it. Um, for example, the host name here uh, is something uh, related to what we cloned there and, and our username and other things uh, and uname dash n is identical to that. We also have uname uh, which would be Linux or uname dash a which print out other information about the machine. Additionally, uh, some things you can do as a user. Um, password allows you to change your password. That's not really necessary on Cloud9, but in other Unix machines it will be. Uh, you can change your password directly from the com command line with that command. Uh, who and who am I prints your own username. Uh, it's a little strange in Cloud9, but on a Unix machine it would usually be some, some name that's been assigned to you uh, as a login. Finger is a way to display uh, some information about users. So then moving on to the what. what uh, the t the probably the most common command we'll ever use in Linux is ls. Uh, this is listing all the directories. This is how we see what's in any given directory. So going back over here, um, if we type ls, in the workspace there's nothing there, but say if we move, uh, and we'll talk about cd in a second, but if we change directories to root and type ls, then we list all the directories uh, that are in the root directory. Uh, we can also uh, use some options to ls, like ls minus la, which gives us uh, some ad additional information. The, um, the a means all, including hidden files. Uh, the hidden files in this case would be uh, like the check environment and, and, and Docker environment, uh, as well as the, the, the small l uh, means long listing, which provides all this other information over here. And we'll learn how to interpret this information soon. Um, example, ls minus capital A gives us um, uh, almost all information. Th that excludes these two special directories here. So we'll, we'll see in a second that dot dot means the, the directory above the one we're in, and, and dot itself uh, is the, the current directory that we're in. So uh, ls minus capital A gives us everything but those. Um, the way you type the commands uh, doesn't matter. You can type ls minus l minus a. Uh, and that's equivalent to ls minus la, so that you can stack the options on top of one another when they're the, the single argument options. So moving on, uh, 
that's just stating what I just said. Multiple options can be com combined, uh, like I just showed you. Those two uh, statements are equivalent. And then also we have environment variables. So we can we can uh, environment variables are uh, ways to sh uh, store things in the shell. Uh, and uh, the, the syntax for the bash shell, there, there are other shells. Uh, for example, there is a, a C shell. Uh, one I use a lot is called Fish. It's a more modern shell. Uh, but the, the shell that is installed in Cloud9 is Bash, and it's probably the most common uh, shell. So uh, we can the, the syntax for storing environment variables in the Bash shell uh, is like this. So export my new variable uh, equals my variable, and then you can access that. So then you can access that variable uh, with us using the dollar sign. So an example of that. Be, uh, well, first of all, there are plenty of environment variables already defined. For example, home. So we can uh, print out what's in home by using the echo command. So that's our home directory. Um, there's some other ones, possibly uh, shell. The environment variable shell is, is there. Um, but we can create our own variables. So we can um, say, And then we can access that variable like that. Uh, and you should be able to print out all the environment variables defined locally with env. Right? So this prints out all of the local environment variables. So uh, where we've already used the CD to change directories. Uh, there's a couple of shortcuts that you may not know about. So we can, at any given time, we can move uh, to our home directory with CD uh, using the, vol the, the environment variable home. Uh, but there's also a shortcut for the environment variable home that is the tilde sign. Or even better, if you just type CD and give it no arguments, it defaults to the home directory. Uh, additionally, you can go, if you move from one directory to another, you can go to the back to the previous directory. Um, or you can go up a, up a level with, uh, with the dot dot. So taking a look at those options. Um, so for example, if we go CD, we're, we're back in the home directory. Uh, th this is my home directory. Um, we can move into one of those directories. For example, we could move into CD Lib uh, Apache 2. Um, and, and we can type print working directory. We'll print the full path back to, to, um, to that directory. And if we want to go back to where we were, of course, we could just type CD because it's home. But we could also type CD tilde minus. And that will take us back to the previous directory where we were, which is equivalent to the home directory. When, I think I was just trying to be clever and complete the uh, who, what, when, where uh, here. But, but also, then, there's a date command, which uh, is, is not often used uh, from the shell script, from a shell. But possibly, if you're trying to uh, develop some type of script and you want to compare times or something like that, it can be useful. So th that's just another example there. Um, Lastly, you know, getting help. All Unix commands uh, should have a man page or a manual page. So if you just type man and the command, uh, man ls, then that should bring up the help folder for that. So for example, if I type man ls, that brings up the help file, and we can read through it. Um, uh, if you want to go down, you just hit the space bar. It'll take you down. Um, you can also search through these man pages um, by typing forward slash and then any word that you may be interested in. So, for example, display will take you to the first instance of display in the man page. And, and then, of course, if you want to quit, just type Q. Lowercase Q will exit you from the man page. So that's one way to get help. Of course, um, another way is to just use Google. And make sure you... Uh, use good keywords. So typically, if you're looking for a Unix command or a Linux command, then just preface you know what you're interested in with Linux or Unix, and it should bring you uh, to to a helpful site. So um, 